Hi everyone, my name is Dom. Welcome to Car Gem presented by eBay Motors. In today's episode, we are going to do the full paint detailing on our Honda Integra Type R that we bought at auction a few months ago. The car got out of the body shop a few weeks ago and we decided to let the paint cure just a little bit so that way when it comes time to do the detailing and the wet sanding, the paint is much more easy to work with. Right after the detailing that we are going to do today, we are going to send the car to the PPF so that way we are going to install a paint protection film on the front end so that way the paint will stay intact while we are driving the car. Today we are at my friend's Prozulus detailing shop and they are actually working on the car as we speak. As you can see behind me, they are doing the first step in the paint detailing process. So they are going to wet sand the car do the polishing and then we are going to top it off with the ceramic coating from Labo Cosmetica. So without further ado, let's jump into this work and let's do it. Before starting the detailing, we need to prepare the car. We are doing a quick wash to remove all contamination on the paint and also to have a better look to what needs to be corrected. Once the car is fully washed, we then move the car into the detailing booth. Prior to be working with the paint of the car, we make sure the thickness is good enough and we have plenty of room for error. So we are using this paint thickness meter to make sure of the thickness of the paint. Since this car was fully resprayed, being afraid of going through the clear coat won't be an issue. We decided to do a test on the rear quarter panel just to make sure how the paint reacts to our products. The perfect tool does really exist for every situation. This small polishing tools help us to go around small areas like the antenna. Using a special LED lamp with various temperature of lighting help us to see all the imperfection on the championship white coat of paint on the car. Here you can see there's a lot of orange peel on this rear quarter panel that will require a lot of wet sanding. No paint job is perfect. Using the small wet sanding tools, we are removing all the small paint imperfections such as possible dust that got stuck in the clear coat while drying. Now that the small imperfection has been corrected, it's now time to move on the wet sanding of the complete vehicle. We are removing the rear wing so we are going to have better access to the trunk cover. Since we are working against a clock, three people were needed to do the full detailing on this car, such as myself. With the detailing fully completed, it's now time to do a paint prep on the vehicle so we can apply our ceramic coating. Aside 
ceramic coating will not only bring another level of shine to the paint but will also prevent the car from small scratches and swirls that could appear after many washes. Last but not least, I decided to restore the original finish of my 25-year-old Mugen MF10 wheels by doing small touch-ups and then protecting them with an industrial ceramic coating that will be perfect for a set of wheels. If you want to use the same product you saw in this video or anything else car related, make sure to go check out eBay Motors with their wide selection of automotive parts and accessories. So we just completed over 40 hours of detailing on this car. We did the complete package. We did wet sanding, we polished the paint, and in the end, we did the Labo Cosmetica coating on the car. So the paint will be protected for over five years, which is awesome. And it's also self-healing. That means if there are some small scratch on the car, just to let the car bake under the sun and the scratch will disappear by itself. So that's super good. That's one of the reasons that you need to go with a ceramic coating on your car that you love. But let me show you what we did. You may remember earlier on this, uh, on this build, the paint was all foggy. There was a lot of orange peel. But now, since we completely remove everything by wet sanding the car and polishing it, now the car is mirror finish once again. So what we are going to do now, we want to protect the paint job because now the car looks amazing. What we are going to do is send the car to the PPF shop that will apply a paint protection film on the front end of the car, which means the hood, the bumper, the headlights, the fenders, and even the mirrors. So that way we won't be afraid of any rock chips while driving the car. So follow me and let's bring the car to the PPF shop. For most cars, it is possible to get the paint protection film pre-cut for easy installation on their vehicle. In the case of a Japan market only Integra, the film needs to be cut manually since the templates were never made for these cars. Even if the car is clean since it has been driven on the road to get there, we need to clean it again. It's now time to apply the paint protection film on the car. Installing a paint protection film is just like a vinyl color wrap, but it is a bit thicker to absorb small rocks impacts on the road. Even though PPF is a bit like vinyl wrap, you should let professional do the installation on your vehicle if you're considering it. After six, seven hours, the front of our Integra is now fully protected with a paint protection film. So this is the end of this episode of Car Gems with the detailing and the PPF. 
Already the car looks amazing, but there's still some stuff left to do on the car. By the way, we want to thank eBay Motors for sponsoring these episodes. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. And also all these parts that we remove from this car is going to be on my eBay listing. In the next episode, the last episode before the reveal, we are going to work inside the car. Uh, we are going to change some of the trims, plastic, even the dashboard. And while we are inside the car with all the trim removed, we decided to replace the complete sound system on the car because these old 90s Honda sound system doesn't sound all that great. So we are going to replace everything and it's going to be very fine. So stay tuned. My name is Dom and I see you in the next one.